Uh, I have said several times I'm concluding, but let me conclude <laughs> with a little story that I like to give because I've talked about a lot of issues. I know you are very well informed and you probably think, what can we do? Um, I like to tell a story of a hummingbird. I don't know how many of you have heard me tell about the hummingbird, but I like to tell about the story of a hummingbird because quite often we feel overwhelmed. Uh, so this story of a hummingbird, which I learned from Japan, is the story of a forest that caught fire. And it was a huge fire. And it was raging. And all the animals came out of the forest and stood by the edge of the forest. And they were watching the fire. They were very overwhelmed. They were powerless. They felt like there was nothing they could do because the problem was too much for them except this little hummingbird. The hummingbird said, I'm going to do something about the fire. So it flew to the nearest stream, took a drop of water, and flew back and put it on the fire, ran back again, brought another drop of water, and put it on the fire. And it kept going as fast as it could, every time bringing a drop of water and putting it on the fire. In the meantime, all these animals are discouraging it, and are persuading it not to bother because it is too little. You have a beak is too little. You are bringing very little water. And some of the animals that are talking like that are the elephants with the big trunks, <laughs> which could bring much more water. But the hummingbird just kept doing what it knew best without wasting any time. And to stop them when they said, what do you think you are doing? And the hummingbird said, I'm doing the best I can. And for me, and I hope for you, that's all we can do. Whoever we are, wherever we are, there is something in our lives that we can do. No matter how small it is, collectively, it will make a difference. So be a hummingbird in your community, wherever you are. Thank you very much. <laughs>